In question three, the problem statement says the squares of which of the following would be odd numbers. So we have these four numbers given to us: four thirty one, two eight two six, seven 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 nine, and eight two zero zero four. So without any calculations, we have to determine whether the squares of each each of these numbers will be an even number or an odd number. To do that, let's analyze the ending digits of the square of any odd number so if you take any odd number its unit digit will be 1 3 5 7 or 9 right so these will be the unit digits of any odd number so if you take the square of any odd number what will be the possible unit digits so one square is 1 so you will get 1 then three square is 9 Then five square is twenty five, so you get five. Then seven square is forty nine, so you get nine. And then nine square is eighty one, so you get one. So, for any odd number, the ending digit of the square could be one, nine, five, nine, or one. So all of these are also odd, and this helps us conclude that the square of any odd number will also be an odd number. What about even numbers? So, if you take any even number, what could be the uh, what could be the ending digit of an even number? So, it could be two, three, two, four, six, eight, and it could also be zero. So, these five could be the ending digit of an even number, and the the ending digit of the square could be for two square it could be four, for four square is sixteen, so six. Six square is thirty-six, so six again. Eight square is sixty-four, so four again. And zero square is zero. So the ending digit of the square of an even number will always be even, and this helps us conclude that the square of an even number will surely be even. And now uh, let's apply this observation to all the four parts. So in part one, the number is four thirty-one. and this is an odd number so the square of this number will also be odd in part 2 the number is 2826 and this is an even number so the square of this number will also be even in part 3 the number is 7779 which is an odd number so the square of this number will also be odd and finally in part 4 the Number is eight two zero zero four. This is an even number, so the square of this number will also be even. So the numbers, the numbers for which the squares will be odd numbers are one and three, and this completes question number three. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.